What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I was going to finish the harness bar, but I'm not going to because I cannot weld in the gussets uh, if I actually put that in. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Taco gussets. Try to knock out all of them. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to get them all done. Uh, it'll be a new experience for me. I've never made a taco gusset, so it'll be fun. I got a general idea of how to do it. Uh, so, follow me along as I fail miserably probably at the first one, uh, but we'll get them done eventually. All the places that I actually have to make taco gussets are two for here, which I'm gonna make just one big one that kind of covers them both because it doesn't have to be separated because they're two continuous bars. Uh, I don't have to show that they're welded together uh, because they are two continuous bars. Um, I need two for here. So one up top, one down low, so that way it doesn't interfere anymore with me getting in and out. Two over there, same thing over there, two for the X. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two big ones, six small ones. That's what I gotta make today. Alright, let's see if I can get in here with everything I need. Uh, so I can figure out exactly how I'm gonna make this. Alright, so there is one rule that you have to be in compliance with. Well, there's a couple rules when you make gussets. So the first being uh, the unwelded side. So the side that's going to go in this gap, obviously, because you have nothing to weld it to, it's going to be the curved side, uh, has to be three times the tubing diameter. Um, so we got inch and three quarters. Um, so at a minimum, it has to be, oh geez, quick math, uh, five and a quarter. So it has to be at least five and a quarter inches um, from here to here. It doesn't matter which side you go on, just two sides on the opposite sides. Um, so I could go left and right if I wanted to, or I can go up and down. Um, I'm going to go up and down, purely because I don't know if I'm keeping this harness bar yet, uh, which you guys will have known, uh, because you already watched that, uh, that video on that bar, because that came up beforehand. Uh, so yeah, maybe you can let me know what the future holds. It's gonna be hard to hear me because my welder's on right now and it's loud. But I'm gonna take them in, uh, so I'm gonna get them in position roughly. Uh, well, not roughly, I'm gonna get them in the position that they need to go in. Um, and then tack them in. And once I get them tacked in, I'll just start slowly laying down beads on there. Um, it'll be fun. It'll probably take me way too long because I suck. But we'll get it done. Uh, and then move on to something else. I don't know about yet. Three times and I keep forgetting stuff, so I gotta grab my gloves that time. It's good. Good exercise and teach me to limber up or something, I don't know.
finally got those welded in. That took me way too long. Um, it was a really weird position to like get underneath these things, um, upside down and climbing in and out. I kept forgetting stuff, whatnot. Um, so I ended up calling it quits early last night because I'm in the process of getting sick. Um, so I've been dragging butt today. Not wanting to get out here and get started, but I've got one, two, two and a half days to get the rest of the cage done. I gotta pull the EJ251 apart, so the stock motor. Um, so yeah, it's a lot to do, because I've gotta do, I wanted to get the dash completely in there, make the column mounts, whole bunch of stuff, finish the gussets up, do the harness bar, and then pull that engine apart, because I gotta get it to the machine shop pretty soon, um, because I'm going out of town for a little while, so. If I don't do it now, it's gonna be a long time until I can get it done. Um, and then it's gonna be like getting close to the fact that I need to have it done. And I'm gonna be like, where's my engine? Um, I don't have one that's built. And then I'm gonna end up stealing the one out of my daily driver and throwing it in here. Uh, that will be fun. But, all right, I'm gonna shut up, get back to work on these gussets. So next step on the gussets, uh, I'll show you the welded ones too. But next step on the gussets, um, making these so these are going to be a little bit different it's going to be interesting to figure out exactly how to do that um, but they can get it done uh, so i'm gonna get started on that right now well my camera died i had no other batteries um and i ran out of room on the memory card at the same time so that was really inconvenient you really didn't miss much uh, except for all this so i did a lot of measuring a lot of cutting uh trimmed up all these so the next step all these little marks that I've got with weird numbers next to them. This is where I'm putting dimple dies, so quite a bit. Um, so that's four, eight, ten. So ten in this entire thing. Um, gonna dimple all of them and then start folding them. And I am highly confident that this isn't gonna work. We'll see though. I'm not really sure uh, if I knew what I was doing when I did this, but it looks kind of neat right now. Like a whole bunch of like random lines and measurements and whatnot. We'll see if it turns out. Okay, so all I had to do was I notched it out a little bit here uh, for the actual shape of the bar, um, but I jammed it in there, and I think it fits pretty good. Um, obviously, I still have to bend the back, and I have to trim these, but honestly, I think it fits really well. Uh, it looks pretty good in there right now, uh, so that's cool. Uh, but I still have to clean up all these edges. Obviously, these aren't very straight lines right now and I need to like get rid of all the sharp edges uh, before I can actually put it in there and I need to like clean up the back of it because it's got a little bit of surface rust on there because it's kind of a corroded piece of uh, metal that's been sitting outside for a long time but I think it's good. All right, so this one is good. Um, I just got trimmed up a few of the areas because it like the cuts weren't perfectly straight. Uh, using an angle grinder, not the greatest tool to use for it. Uh, and I smoothed out some of them, trimmed up the back. That way they fit and they wouldn't overlap like they did before. So there's a small gap that way you can see that it's actually welded between the two bars on the inside. Uh, but fitment's pretty good. It's pretty tight with all the clamps on there right now. Um, so I'm gonna start by tacking this side into place. Um, and then tighten up this side down here uh, and then tack that into place and then we'll get started on that side before I fully weld this one in.
it doesn't fit too bad. Um, I think I messed up on my angle just a little bit on these because I might have cut too much off, but it can be adjusted uh, to where it should work. Um, I need to contour this just a little bit uh, to actually get it to fit in there a little bit nicer. Um, so I'm just going to curve the uh, unwelded side, so this bend here, just a little bit to kind of give it room to sit in just a little bit more. Um, same thing over here, just a little bit, and that's what I did on the other side, so it kind of fit in there a little bit nicer. Um, and then I'm going to also clean up all these edges at the same time, uh, that way I don't slice my hand open again. Uh, gloves help though, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, I'll just finish do that real quick, and then we'll test fit it again. Okay, uh, massaged it a little bit, got it in there. Um, it fits pretty good right now. Um, I can adjust it just a little bit too. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, this area, I think I did take a little bit too much off, but I can bend it in just a little bit and I can weld it. My welds aren't gonna be straight anyway, so I don't even think you'll notice it because I'm not the best at welding, um, especially with some of the other stuff, but yeah. It won't be too bad, um, so I'm going to clean this up. I think it's good enough right now, honestly. Uh, once I clean it up, uh, I'm going to prime the inside like I did with the last one. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about any weird rusting or anything. Get rid of all this surface rust and crap on the outside here. Uh, and then once it dries, tack it into place, uh, and then probably weld both of them up. And now while this is drying on the inside, it's all cleaned up on the outside too, uh, I'm going to come in here, start working on the little ones that are going to go here and here on the cage. Um, so these are the last four required ones. Uh, so two over here and then two over there. Uh, Hopefully they're symmetrical, I'm gonna measure, uh, but they should be really easy to make, just like those were. Well, you didn't see me do any of these, just cause I felt like just getting them done. Sometimes, you know, just don't feel like filming everything. So these are just sitting in there right now. I gotta clean them up, obviously. Uh, fitment's decent on them. Uh, they're relatively symmetrical per the two sides. I had to make this one smaller. Uh, I didn't wanna make it huge like the bottom one, uh, so I made it a little bit smaller. Um, so those, these aren't perfectly symmetrical with each other, but that's on purpose. Um, those are done too on the passenger side. Uh, so next step, I'm going to put these in. Uh, so I'm going to put the clamps on and whatnot, um, and actually get everything done and ready to weld those in, uh, the passenger side, uh, door bar gusset anyway, and then We'll start working our way around, tacking them all in place and then welding them all. Well, that was the last weld of the roll cage to at least pass screw near it. Obviously, I'm gonna weld other stuff on there, tabs and whatnot, so that's all good and fine and dandy and whatnot. So, yeah, happy to officially be done with the cage, I guess. Uh, everything that I add from here is just extra, um, so that's good. Uh, obviously, I'm going to add like windshield gussets, B-pillar gussets, stuff like that, uh, but that'll all be in the future, uh, probably in a couple weeks when I actually get some time to start on that again. Uh, but anyway, that's all I got for this one. So the gussets came out all right. Uh, the MIG welding is kind of ugly, but whatever, nothing really I can do about it. I got better with it and made it look a little bit better. Um, that's still warm, obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish I had TIG welded it, but it would have taken me so much longer if I had TIGs. So I guess that's just partly Mostly out of laziness. I just grossly underestimated the amount of time that it takes to take a cage. Um, so, in the future, I'll probably MIG cages only. Uh, I might take uh, once I get like a little better and quicker with freehand. Definitely need a lot of practice with it. Um, I'm definitely decent with like supported on a bench, 
but as soon as I get into like these weird positions, I'm not fast at all, uh, and it just takes way too long. And a TIG uh, control torch, or a TIG control on the actual torch would have made a big difference too for a lot of them, to not have to drag the foot pedal around, but that's not a big deal anyway. Um, yeah, they're mostly symmetrical with each other, they look decent, uh, but like I said, that's all I got for this one. I'm going to get started tearing the uh, stock engine apart so I can get it to the machine shop. So I got to clean up this garage quite a bit. I don't really want to like scratch up my bearing surfaces and all that crap by getting metal shavings everywhere because there's just so much everywhere. But yeah, I'm going to start cleaning and get started on that. Maybe even try to get the dash in today. Uh, the dash and then like the steering column and then throw both seats in there and we can get a final picture of what everything looks like. That'd be kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for this one. Again, I say that multiple times, but you guys have a good one.